Welcome to Trading Wealth Channel. Thanks for subscribing our channel. In this video, we are going to talk about Nifty and Bank Nifty technical levels for next week. In the Friday, we seen uh, is kind of uh, sideways. Okay, there is uh, there was no movement uh, upside or downside. We call it as uh, range range bound market. Okay, there is no uh, movement. Either it should go down or it should go up, but it went fully in the sideways. Okay, so this kind of situation we should avoid to enter the market. First, we have to identify the trend. Either it is a bearish trend or it is a bullish trend or it is sideways. If you are going sideways, don't enter. Okay, you may lose. That's why trading don't get enter into sideways market always. Okay, we'll see the technical levels first. Hi, it was closed at eleven thousand nine thirty in the level. In the current support is eleven thousand eight hundred seventy five. That's a immediate support. If it is breaks, definitely it will come down around eleven thousand eight hundred to eleven thousand seven fifty. In this level, it will come. Okay, if Eleven thousand seven fifty levels also breaks. Definitely, it will touch eleven thousand six twenty. That's a strong support. Okay, because upcoming uh, the U.S. election also there, so some uh, some volatility definitely will be there. Okay, when we can see the up movement means market should break first resistance twelve thousand twenty five. Twelve thousand twenty five. It should break. Twelve thousand twenty-five. If it is break, we can expect twelve thousand hundred to twelve thousand two hundred two fifty in that level. We can see that. How we can uh, predict the market uh, from open interest? We will see the later in this video. Okay. First, we will uh, freeze these levels first. Okay. So next immediate resistance is twelve thousand twenty-five. Twelve thousand twenty-five. There is a strong resistance. See, last trend is it didn't break eleven twelve thousand twenty five. So it was trading between eleven thousand seven hundred to twelve thousand. In the uh, it's trading between this uh, this levels only since last ten days. Just observe the market. If you want expect some upside, it should break twelve thousand twenty five. Otherwise, it will be in In the range bound only, right? Bound me. So twelve thousand to eleven thousand seven hundred in the range only. So immediate support is eleven thousand eight seventy five. I am saying these are accurate levels only. If this break definitely it will touch eleven thousand eight hundred. The next support is eleven thousand seven fifty. If now eleven thousand seven fifty also breaks, it will touch definitely eleven thousand six twenty. Resistance is twelve thousand twenty five. Breaks you can expect twelve thousand hundred to twelve thousand two fifty. That time U.S. election also it will come. Anyway, we, uh, people are expecting the Nifty definitely it will go down when U.S. election result comes. Okay, it um, that based on the result. Definitely all the uh, global economic watching the U.S. elections. Okay, based on that our market will reflect. So better to avoid in the situation for long term investors. Wait for another fifteen uh, to twenty days. Anyway, your result comes. The people are saying that uh, the um, the voting day is uh, November third. Election day is November third. But the people are saying it will take one week to announce our result because the COVID nineteen situations. So better to take for long term after your election result comes. Now we'll see the bank Nifty levels. Then uh, I told you that later we will identify the trending uh, where we can uh, see the support resistance level in uh, uh, means the based on the open interest. I will show you that one. It is very uh, interesting things. Okay, we'll see the bank Nifty now. Now Bank Nifty uh, closed around uh, so twenty four thousand five hundred. Okay, if it is 
breaks 23,000, we can uh, see some up movement up to uh, 25,500 in that level. Suppose it didn't break 25,000, mean definitely it will touch 24,300. That is the first support, 24,300. Okay, if 24,300 also it breaks, definitely. It will touch 23,800. 23,800. Okay. That also breaks. Definitely, it will touch 23,200. These, these are three support levels. First support is 24,250 uh, or 300. Second support is 23,800. Third support is 23,200. Resistance is first resistance 25,000. Another is 25,200 uh, to uh, 300 in the level only will be there. These are the support and resistance level. See, market almost touched in the level. So, this is the strong resistance. I told right, 20, um, 25,200, 25,200 to 300 in that level only. Maximum it will go there if it is bullish time. Otherwise, definitely it will come to touch 24,300 and 24,800 uh, in the level. If it is break again, it will touch 23,200. Okay. So, I told you that. How to identify support or resistance based on the open interest? I will show you this now. Just go to uh, NSA website. Okay. The NSA website in the derivative segments. This is Nifty derivative segments for next week. First check, first we have to check in um, resistance, right? Just check which strike price have more open interest. It means there's a resistant level. Mean lot of people expecting to go in that level. They are waiting for that level only. We'll see now. Current market is uh, 11,930, uh, uh, right? This is almost around 11,950. The next is 12,000. More, more open interest that there in 12,000 strike price. So again, after that big open interest, they're waiting for 12,500. This is for resistance. People are waiting for 12,000. So, you should break 12,020. That's why I told you, you should break 12,020. Then it will go up to 12,100. 12,100 to 12,200. Okay. That also break definitely it will go 12,500. This is the resistance level. Okay. We'll see support now. Um, support where having more open industry. 11,500 side price have more open interest. So, people are expecting to market come down in that level, 11,500. So, before, the, before that, the people are expecting to come down up to 11,800 because more open interest people are there. More open interest there in 11,800 side price. So, after that, 11,600. So, these are the support lines. So, we, we can easily identify support and resistance level based on the open interest. I, I show you now, right? We will come to know support and resistance. So, this kind of ideas, if you know, we will get to know all those things in the NSA sites. This is simple, this kind of strategy. We will come to know support and resistance level. Okay? Because, first we have to identify the human psychology. So, in the market, we should identify human psychology. Why I am telling me, for example, if you are, we see that these are support levels, uh, 11,875 support levels. This kind of uh, thinking, other people also have. They are also thinking, this is also, this is a support level. So, that kind of uh, human psychology, we should understand. Okay. Everybody knows, this is a support line, this is a resistance line. So based on that, we have to try. We have to take a try. Okay, don't lose. Okay, always are telling. Sometimes what they will do means they will do uh, a reversal strategy, the reversal strategy. But sometimes it works, sometimes it won't work. 
okay it won't reverse it will go up even though uh, break the resistance okay why i am telling mean if you if you are selling on resistance level first check that r2 have r2 the r2 level is next resistance it is it is very near to r1 means don't sell on r1 you can sell it at r2 level this is very very important things same thing if you are going to buy in s1 just check s2 is there in nearby s1 means don't take position on s1 just take position on s2 it will is a better okay this is my advice okay okay guys so we we seen sub bank it and the nifty support level support and resistance level i showed support and resistance level and based on the open and i think this is a very new you guys i think no some people uh, didn't see this kind of things and all some people uh, might know this kind of thing anyway we convey it to them all the best guys thank you for watching our channel and this videos if you like put likes and subscribe my channel and refer to your friends to subscribe my channel if anything just put your comments on comment section we'll see the next video with good topic thank you